Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video by Alex Formosi. If you are broke or you are poor and wish to no longer be broke and poor, the first is owning the fact that everything that has to do with your life is your fault. The next step is being willing to use what you have rather than what you think you should have or what you wish you had. The circumstances, the connections, the money, whatever. The passion, the purpose, the meaning behind the work. You can wish for all that stuff, but you don't have it. So you have to use what you have. Then, as soon as you start taking action, everyone around you will collapse and try to pull you down. And so the only way to protect yourself against that is to increase your own approval of self and decrease how much their opinion of you matters. And, and then when you do that, you keep walking, you keep taking steps, no matter how painful it is, and you never stop. And if you do that, you will get there. Kirby, I love this video. I love that he hit on aspects of personal accountability because I think that's something that 90 to 99 percent of people lack and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back but this is actually the mindset that I had when I first started taking those first steps was you know what do I need to do different and understanding my situation so that I can move forward with what I have and understanding too, I, I I remember vividly, and I still do this, but it's very hard to not be accountable for the things that happen in your life, or to not have that mindset or that those those thoughts. Most people don't do it, but if you really think to yourself, you know, if you're at a job that you hate, that's your that's your fault. If you are unable to afford the bills that you have, that's your fault. And so there's all these aspects in your life that really just go back to you and what do you need to do or what can you do to change that in your life and understanding what you have rather than wishing and hoping that you had something more to, you know, you had better tools to go about navigating that. Just accept what you have and go from there many people stay trapped because they wish too much and they have too many dreams but they're just dreams because they're not taking any action i really like this video but what do you think of what he everything that he said between what you just said and what alex hermosi just said look at alex and alex i see, I see what you're doing there i see what you're doing there <laughs> um but <laughs> between what y'all what y'all just said you just spoke on my life, especially the video, through and through. I was a guy, like you just said, hopes and dreams. I blamed everybody else for my situation. You know, I blamed the military. I blamed getting out during the financial crisis. I blamed because I was black in America. I made every excuse in the world of why I didn't have what I thought I should have. Until that day came where I looked in the mirror and said, the reason why you're in your situation is because of you. Until I had that epiphany, that hallmark moment, and I blame myself for everything. That's when things started to change in my life. I mean, it's no secret. We talked about it on this channel many a times how I was 250 in debt, uh, no job. Um, when I did get a job, it paid me like $9 hour but because the location was so far and gas prices so high during the financial crisis that i was literally paying just to work for the company that i worked for but once i looked in the mirror and said it's my fault i had to do it you know i looked over the generational curses i looked at you know i wanted to blame who my mom was who my dad was who my grandparents was you know growing up in the inner city of detroit as the excuse of why why I didn't have it, even though I be believed that I had more. But the truth of it was me. And as you said, self-accountability is something that is lacked that is lacked in many people. Um, but once I had that epiphany and I, you know, said, hey, I need to change me. And then I started to change me. And when I started to change me, it wasn't no big announcement on social media. You know, I wasn't sitting there trying to you know, say, hey, new year, new me, trying to convince everybody else that I've changed it. I just knew I was going to change within myself. Um, 
And then, you know, I started thinking about budgeting. I started thinking about, hey, how the hell to get out of all this debt and all that. Um, and then I start making steps in the right direction because I've been, you know, I spent 27 years of going in the wrong direction. I started making steps in the right direction. And when I started making steps in the right direction, I got excited about it. And then I wanted to, you know, share with, you know, people close to me that I thought, you know, hey, we all have been going in the wrong direction this whole time. Maybe we will all, you know, maybe we all want to do it. But like Alex Armosi said in the video, the more times you take steps in the right direction, then the people that are around you are going to collapse. You know, they're going to come up with the same, you know, they're going to come up with the, oh, you think you're better than us, the crabs in the barrel mentality. Um, and the hallmark of that whole video that was that just came out that you put up was the only thing that made me keep persevering was self-dependence outweighed the opinions that everybody else had of me. I mean, I know he didn't word it that way. But self-dependence on myself outweighed whatever anybody said because I heard it all. Oh, you're just like your daddy, you're this, you're that, you know. And this is all the people that I grew up with, family and friends that, you know, I thought that loved me. But when I tried to escape the that mentality of just, hey, it's okay to be poor, it's okay to have nothing lifestyle, then it was me against the world. You know, I know it's a cliche now, but that's literally how it felt. Everybody that I called and talked to and things like that, they didn't want to hear. They didn't want to hear about that because, of course, they thought I thought I was better because I was trying to change the situation. But as their opinion became less important to me, and I just kept walking in a different direction. You know, we always talk about driving on a highway. I just got off on another. I got off on a fork in the road, and they kept driving. The further I got away from them in that situation and that mindset the easier it was. And then it just compounds and compounds and compounds. And then even those same people that didn't want to hear it when I was, you know, started my journey, they sit there and now they tell me, oh man, I wish I would have just went, I wish I would just went with you when you went. And then now it's a whole different mindset because now they see the fruits of the labor. Now they see the benefits of what I did. And now there's nothing else to say because now I have arrived. But when I was going through the journey and trying to separate myself from that mindset, that likelihood, that uh, that poverty mentality, it was, I was every name in a book. But yet here we are. Yet here we are. And I'm still living my life. My family is doing good. My son's still a pain in the butt. But, but that's just the life that it is. But that is, that's the real fruits of it. And when I heard this video, I've, I've listened to it like 10 times now. Um, that's really was the mindset you got to have. If you don't like the situation that you're in, you got to do something extreme to get out of it. If you think that everybody's going to go with you, hell, ain't nobody going with you. And Alex, I remember when I met you, that was a conversation that we had. I said, look, you're going to get excited about what you're going to learn and you're going to bring everybody with you and you're going to get frustrated because nobody's going to want to go with you. So you have to be prepared that it's going to be arrows thrown at you from everywhere, friends and family. And when I told you that, you, I, I saw the look in your eyes. You were like, oh, this motherfucker's crazy. But yeah, here we are. <laughs> so, I'm laughing. I, I love the video. I remember thinking, nah, man, Kirby, Kirby doesn't know my family. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't lying. He wasn't lying. Um, yeah. No, I love this video, especially on that last point where he said you have to increase of your approval of self. You mm -hmm. have to, because no one else is gonna root for you. You have to be the one confident and thinking of yourself. You almost like you're selfish, and especially for someone like me, I grew up my whole life told not to be selfish not to you know i have to think about everybody else I have to worry about everyone else's life and their situations and so that was one that i got honestly what helped me convert to just thinking about myself was being fed up with trying to help other people and care about other people and they just like spit in your face and so you have to be 
focused on your own life and realize you have a finite amount of time in which you're going to be able to live. So if you don't execute on everything that you want to do in life, you're just going to lose out and that's it. And you have to dedicate your life, your next steps to yourself. And like he said, too, at, at, on that last uh, sentence or whatever you want to call it, you cannot give up. You have to keep going. And then he said, no matter how painful it is, because it's going to hurt mentally, emotionally, because it's a whole different change. And the people that you thought were close to you are going to either fall out of your life or they're not going to support you. You're not going to understand why they're not supporting you because you would think that they would support you. You would have thought your whole life that they would be the ones to support you. So you're going to face a lot of that. And the only thing that can drive you is just realize the change in your life down the road that you're trying to reach and accomplish. And you know that step by step you will get there. Yeah, I mean, you said it perfectly. I mean, that that right there is the heartache of you seeing, you know, your brothers, your mom, your cousins, you know, your close friends growing up. And you seeing them still struggling is is hard to take. I mean, especially when you know you know something that's going to work, and then you you feel you feel that hey, this going to benefit us all, but then you realize you're the only one that's on board. That's a feeling that sucks. And um, I always equate this. And I don't, I don't know, you might have to take this out the video if I say it wrong, but I always equate this to when somebody say they love you, I always say that everybody say they love Jesus, but they don't follow. <laughs> That's exactly how I look at it. They say they love Jesus, but they don't follow. Him. So if you go, if you're going to love me, love me all the way. Don't, don't half ass it. And that's what I've seen. I seen the true definition of love when I started to separate and then everybody, you know, went away. They always say, the, you know, the road to the top is lonely. The reason why it's lonely is because nobody is willing or it's very, 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 very few people that's willing to go through the grind to get to the top. You know, you might start off with a team of 10 at the base of the mountain, but as you keep going, they're going to fall off the mountain. Cause they don't want to go to the grind. They want to go to the club. They want to party. They got, you know, girlfriend, they have, you know, six, seven kids, you know, they want to go do stuff cause they think it's taking too long. And they go and try to convince you to quit. They're like, oh man, why don't we just go to the club? Why we got to go do this? Why we got to go do that? And you got to keep climbing. If you think getting wealthy, getting successful is a team sport, you're lying to yourself. You'll be lucky if the person that you lay in bed with, that you marry or you sleep in a house with, is on board. But it's a lonely road. So if you're not willing to travel down that lonely road, then success will be very narrow for you. Uh, so that's that's how I looked at it. Alex and Mersey, like I always, come out with great videos. But this one, I think this was had the biggest context on my life. Uh, you know, I didn't know who he was back then or whatever, but this was a big reflection. I, I say context, a big reflection on the life story of success, especially mine. It's, it's a, it's a lonely game out there. And if you want it, go get it. But if you don't want it, then en enjoy the fruits of the non-labor that you produce. But please like and subscribe. And I know Alex usually do the outros and stuff like that, but, uh, comment, uh, let me know what you think, and we'll be back in the next video. That's why I do it, because Kirby doesn't even know what to say. He's like, you know, hit Max. the like button. Do <laughs> All right, see? Guys, we'll see you.